Here we have a metal transition tack strip where the carpeting is beginning to separate from it. The carpet's in otherwise great condition, so we're going to try to repair this today. Hi, my name is Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to install a wooden transition strip uh, over the existing metal transition strip to dress up this area. So the first thing we want to do is we want to measure the width of the door frame and transition that measurement uh, to the wood transition board. We'll now go ahead and trim the ends of the wood transition. Now that we've trimmed the board to the length or the width of the uh, door frame, I've positioned it in place and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small notch in it, the thickness of the door stop, and basically enable me to take the transition strip and slide it forward to approximately halfway um, across the width of the door stop. So now that we've cut out the notches for the door stop, I've slid the wood transition piece into place and it's covering nicely now by about a half inch the uh, uh, seam for where the carpet connects to the um, metal tack strip. So at this point we're ready to uh, screw this down to the floor. Um, we'll put a little wood filler in the edges, um, but before we do any of that we'll uh, pre-stain this wood uh, to make it to the color of the door frame itself. So we've stained the wood transition piece. I put in most of the screws. All we need to do is tighten this one up. And all that's left is to put some wood uh, putty filler over these screw holes that are uh, recessed and we're all set. So that's it. It took us maybe 30 minutes to do this uh, wood transition project. Uh, if you have any other questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com.